In 1963, the U.S. military was already aware of the significant impact of jungle warfare in Vietnam. Despite their extensive combat experience, jungle warfare remained a relatively unfamiliar topic. Frontline soldiers not only had to adjust their tactics, but also had new equipment needs. Therefore, a bid was proposed for the development of a light multi-purpose aircraft, and the Lockheed CL-760 was one of the competitors. According to military requirements, the aircraft needed to be relatively small, with a wingspan of about 20 feet, and have a high-strength landing gear capable of withstanding a vertical descent landing impact of 20 feet per second. It also needed to be able to take off and land on short, narrow runways in the Vietnamese jungle, with a maximum takeoff and landing distance of no more than 800 feet. Additionally, it needed to be able to operate from an aircraft carrier with relatively basic electronic equipment and the ability to carry machine guns, rocket launchers, and other basic weapons. Based on U.S. military standards, this aircraft was tailored for Vietnam. Due to U.S. air superiority, the aircraft was primarily intended as a supplemental force for tasks such as battlefield surveillance, communication, transport, and firepower suppression, and was envisioned to serve with the Marine Corps. The Lockheed CL-760 was one of several competitors, with a single wing, dual tail assembly, and a low position of the horizontal tail relative to the main wing, with a trapezoidal shape for the vertical tail. The engine compartment housed two T-76 turboprop engines with a relatively small aspect ratio for good lift performance and low-speed maneuverability. The aircraft could be equipped with a variety of weapons, such as 7.622 matter machine gun pods, 20mm three-barrel Gatling cannon pods, and rocket launchers. The bubble-shaped cockpit had a tandem configuration for the two crew members, as well as a small passenger compartment for eight fully armed soldiers or small cargo. The aircraft had a tricycle landing gear that could retract. Among the competing bids, the Lockheed CL-760 was an early withdrawal, and the ultimate winner was the OV-10. Although the Lockheed CL-760 had a comparable design, the OV-10 excelled in several details, such as the ability to use conventional tools for maintenance, good short takeoff and landing performance, and the ability to land on amphibious assault ships without arresting gear. Despite its shortcomings in climb performance, it posed no significant problems in the Vietnam theater with U.S. air superiority. The Lockheed CL-760 multi-purpose light aircraft had an empty weight of 2316 kilograms, a maximum weight of 4205 kilograms, a length of 12.28 meters, a width of 9.14 meters, a crew of two, and the capacity to carry up to eight fully armed soldiers, with a maximum flight speed of 523 kilometers per hour.